Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest, the latest news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence. And here are the top stories of the last week we carefully picked for you. This time primarily on robotics. Robotic vehicles are not really new. We count on machines a lot in our daily life. What if the machines turn into full functional humanoids? Stay with us. Yamaha produced somewhat of a surprise at the Tokyo Motor Show when it showed a motorcycle riding humanoid robot. Yamaha has taken a distinct approach, building a human-like robot that sits on a motorcycle and rides it. Motorbot isn't expected to be a standalone product. It's a way for Yamaha to work toward its vision for autonomous vehicles in which existing cars and trucks are retrofitted with self-driving capabilities. The motorcycle riding humanoid robot combines Yamaha's most sporty motorcycle and robotics technology in an R&D effort aimed at developing a robotic rider which can ride an unmodified motorcycle completely on a racetrack. While Yamaha's video of Motorbot may wow you, it's important to note this technology is far from ready. Motorbot has not been driven on public roads. The first version of Motorbot requires a human present with a remote control to drive it. Yamaha next wants Motorbot to be fully autonomous and controlled by GPS and sensors. So we're not close to having Yamaha's robot drive you to work, but if it ever happens, you wouldn't have to worry about Motorbot texting while driving. After all, his hands are glued to the wheel. I am Motorbot. I was created to surpass you. <laughs> With people spending an average of four and a half years of our lives in cars, which equates to traveling to the moon and back three times, Toyota believes that much can be learned about our behavior and emotion while driving. And that's where Kiboro Mini Rabbit could help. Kiboro Mini is a communication companion rabbit from Toyota that appeared at the Tokyo Motor Show. It's engineered to make the driver have a better emotional experience when behind the wheel. It's a new 10 cm high little body. He can talk to you, gesture to you, and detect and respond to your emotions. But his mission as your new portable friend doesn't end there. It has voice recognition technology is one of its key features. The robot's behavior shows human-like feeling in that it's capable of answering and exchanging questions with humans. Kiroba is also designed to be a good listener, attentively taking into what the person says in order to process the information and respond with a positive show of sympathy or kindness. Kiroba Mini could help driving become a physically and emotionally transformative experience. After all, Kiroba's name derives from the Japanese word for hope and company believes he's filled with exciting possibilities. It doesn't seem like the most exciting form factor for a robot would be a cube, but recently cube robots have been where it's at. Balancing cubes, jumping hedgehog cubes, even self-assembling cubes, somehow cubes can do it all. And if you give them springy metal tongs with which they can elastically lick surfaces like Michigan Institute of Technology did for some reason, they can jump, bounce and roll. This looks a little bit like magic, but we are reasonably certain that it isn't. Inside of the 200 gram robot, there are two motor-sized rotors, each connected to one end of four flattened loops of spring steel. Activating the rotors causes the spring steel loops that is easier to be called tongues to get pulled through rectangular openings, mouths, into a round cavity inside the body of the robot, compressing them. As the rotors continue to turn, eventually the compressed tongues get pulled all the way around back to the mouths, at which point they spring out, releasing that elastic energy all at once and causing the robot to jump like 20 cm high. With some lightweight payloads, such as miniature cameras, the robot can be used for exploration tasks. Moreover, a wireless sensor network can be automatically deployed and reconfigured for outdoor surveillance by using a group of our jumping robots. Consider the earthworm. Not unfriendly, maybe a little gross. Who would think that this humble creature may hold the key to a new generation of soft robots? Last week, a team of neuroscientists and engineers from Case Western Reserve were on hand to describe their work turning biological research on earthworm behavior into useful robotics. Plenty of living organisms use peristalsis, but earthworms move using two types of muscles that contract and expand sacs of fluid. This makes the worm grow thinner and longer, or wider and shorter, helping it propel itself. 
but this type of locomotion isn't very well understood. Now a more complex understanding of those underlying neurological and physical systems is helping researchers build a robot that replicates those systems on a larger mechanical scale. For example, the earthworms front, middle and end all use unique forms of motion depending on context, thanks to arrays of neurons that let it move in a huge range of ways across its length. The body itself is just as important as the robotic brain. It's modular and can be added and cut up like a Lego model using dozens of 3D printed vertex hubs that are all connected by soft strands of nylon tubing. Inside the transparent tube of the worm, actuators control the contraction and waveform creation. At the poster session, researchers demonstrated how the worm could be built using these modular parts, plugging in and removing hubs in seconds. We've seen plenty of soft robots this year, but none of them are quite as precisely controlled as this. It's more like a hybrid of both soft and conventional robots using mechanical parts and biometric brains to create a smarter robot. A study by engineers at Oregon State University suggests that they have achieved the most realistic robotic implementation of human walking dynamics that has ever been done, which may ultimately allow human-like versatility and performance. The system is based on a concept called spring mass walking that was theorized less than a decade ago. It provides the ability to blindly react to rough terrain, maintain balance, retain an efficiency of motion and essentially walk like humans do. The system is also efficient. Studies done with the Atreus robot model, which incorporates the spring mass theory, showed that it's three times more energy efficient than any other human-sized bipedal robots. This approach to robots that can walk and run like humans opens the door to entire new industries, jobs and mechanized systems that do not today exist. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for watching us. As always, you're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media and join the global conversation. Stay with us and see you soon.